Hi everybody, Kirby here, and today I'm gonna react to these big what? Big nuts. This I think this good. I think this is supposed to be a kid's book, but it's mostly it was sus. But still, it was a kid's book, by the way. Now, let's react to this in three, two, one, play. Story time with Tom Foolery presents. Tom Foolery. These big nuts. Three by. He was a squirrel who had big nuts. What? His nut sack was so big. Oh. That it would drag on the ground. Oh my god, why? Went. Why you had he to? He had a friend named Sarah All right. who loved nuts. What? Sarah would go around the town trying to put everyone's nuts in her mouth. Oh, oh my god, why do I have to react to this? His nuts were her favorite. No, they it were didn't. The biggest nuts she had ever seen. Oh she god. would play with his nuts all day yeah. and sometimes. Even at night. Not at night time. Sometimes her mum would join. No, not her, her mother. Was holding these nuts at night. No. So Sarah would even try to put both of its nuts in her mouth at once. Why? Why did she have to do that? The would turn red. And then <sighs> his nuts would come flying out. Who made this book? Day, Satan? Someone ran up to his nuts and started poking them. Hey. Jerk off my nuts, he said. Yeah, get out Although of here. Sarah loved these nuts. She would sometimes kick them. She once kicked them so hard, she busted a nut. Oh, damn, I it hurt. very sad that Sarah busted his nut. But in the he kids' just book, wanted Sarah he said. to play nice with his nuts. One day, when his nuts were feeling better, she took them to lunch. Where she got Just peanut wow. butter all over them. His nuts were so sticky. Oh. After that day, she knew she would need to play nice. And they're clean because again. Because all good squirrels know how to play nice with big nuts. The end. Okay, I'm glad this is the end of the video. I'm glad this is the end of the story because I don't want to see this again. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like. Comic, it's guys to this channel. Bye, guys.